What's up guys, Terry here and welcome to the first installment of the new series Weapons Review where I take every Battlefield 3 gun that it has to offer in order of receiving it and review that weapon. Today I'm running with the SV-98. The SV-98 is equipped with a 10 round detachable box magazine, a muzzle brake that can be swapped for a suppressor, and backup iron sights. Now the SV-98 is standardly equipped with the PKS-07 7X for very long range shooting but I prefer using the 12x ballistic scope. Now I'm a very good shot with sniper rifles. I actually prefer being long distance sniper and as you can see I'm struggling trying to get a hit marker on any of these guys and well let's just say that I personally do not think the gun is that accurate and maybe the bullets don't register that well I mean I've seen a lot of people get kills with it it's my own personal opinion that I'd rather not use that gun if it comes to long range sniping. Though as you see later on in the clip, I actually do get a couple kills, and I, I mean, it's pretty nice shots and everything like that. But as you see right there, I hit the guy in the head. Feel free to slow down and watch, but I, it just wasn't a kill. And right here, he comes inside the little building and stairway, and I pull off the trigger and got a hit right then and there. Now, as every gun, it has its ups and downs. For say, it comes with standard camo for Caspian border type areas, and it has a decent semi reload time, as in reloading another round into the chamber. But for all you hardcore snipers, close quarters, I recommend using the M40A5 because it has a faster secondary shot. But for snipers like this, who are tactically placed in a camping position, it is a good follow up shot to take down three enemies in a row and follow up by a revive takedown again. And like many of the sniper rifles, the damage up close is 80% without a headshot, and at a far range it is 50%, up to 80 meters. And it fires 48 rounds per minute, at 528 meters a second, and the maximum distance is 2600 meters. In every tactically placed warning shot, aka miss, will amount 35% suppression on any of the soldiers that you shoot at. Now let's get into some of the unlocks and what it takes to unlock them. The first unlock you're going to receive is the ballistic scope, the 12x zoom or the 12x scope. And that is unlocked after your 10th kill. Your next unlock will be the laser sight. It will require 20 kills and all it does is it'll amp the accuracy of hip firing. The next unlock after that is called the bipod at 30 kills. Now what that will do, it will post up your sniper rifle in a stationary emplacement position and it will take away all recoil from your sniper rifle but it won't protect you against sway once you get shot at or suppressed. Your next unlock for blinding people is the tack light and you unlock that at 40 kills. After that is the PSO-1 Forex rifle scope. The next one after that is a straight pull unlocked at 60 kills, which will allow you to reload your next shot without having to scope out making it easier to keep track of targets without losing sight of them. After that is the silencer at 70 kills. And at 80 kills is the PKAS, the holographic sight. After that is the Cobra sight which is famous amongst close quarter snipers and hardcore which is unlocked at 90 kills. And after 100 kills you'll get the IRNV otherwise known as the night vision scope. And unfortunately that is all the time I have left for today. If this video helped you at all please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment and like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.